This is an instructional video on how to make a Noah's Ark for the classroom from boxes that you can get at Walmart or Sam's Club. So, it's looking pretty good at this stage. That's why I decided to do the, the video. The most important part of this project is this box. It's a large box that I got from Walmart. At fall time, they have the pumpkins in it. It's upside down right now. Um, and this is a very heavy duty box. You can see it's about a half an inch thick. And you need about a, a saw to cut into it. Now what makes these boxes so perfect for this project is the fact that they have diagonal corners. Each corner is cut at a diagonal. And when it's by itself, it looks like almost a boat. And that's where I got the idea. I cut a door in the side using the ventilation holes. And when it was done, if you can dismiss this for a moment, when this was done, I figured it did not look completely like a boat. It really needed these extra extensions on either side. So at Sam's Club, there is this flat pieces of cardboard they use in between layers of like cases of water. Nothing written on it, nice clean cardboard. If you got four of these, take a corner of two of them, cut out a shape, cut it off, and you can tape it and glue it right to the diagonal of that main big center box. And add any shape you want, but that diagonal gives us a nice surface for gluing it on. Okay, so the base was done and it looks pretty good. The next thing I needed was a box for the house part of Noah's Ark. If you can find the right size box, that would make life easy. In my case, I made my box from those flat pieces from Sam's Club, like this. I used four of them, and I joined them together at the corners. And because I did that, I was able to make the side one have a nice point diagonal to support my roof. But I just fold the corners, glue and tape them, hold them in place, and I also cut out these slots where I'm going to put the faces of some animals inserted in there. If you found a box, that would be an easier project to do. I also cut out the bottom of this box to match the top of this box so that a child could stand up on the inside when they climbed in. Now, one last thing I needed was a roof. And Sam's Club has these thinner pieces of papery cardboard that are between paper towels. And I use this for my roof. And that was a fast, quick way to be done with that project. Now the next stage of this is to remove the tape. We're gonna paint it and add in a wood grain. I've just been cutting out pieces of cardboard from the flat cardboards from Sam. I cut out a piece that I could insert here and cover up this opening. It'll be glued down. And we're going to add an anchor to the side. Add the animals, which I purchased from Oriental Traders. They're cutouts of cute animal faces. They're going to be glued on. And the kids were told to bring a stuffed animal on the day that we debut this Noah's Ark. And they're going to add animals to it also and climb inside. Now, I was telling you that box is very nice, but we've also used it over here to make a, a den for the story. Follow me, please. We made a den for the story of Daniel and the lion's den. So here's one of those big boxes. This is a bigger size, and this has the words on it. It's upside down, and we cut a door into it, and now it's our den for the lions and the Daniel story. So get yourself some of these boxes. They have multi-purposes.